friends, fellow Minecraftiers, Craftonians, whatever you like to call yourself, welcome back to another episode. We are at episode 3 now on Spellbound Caves, and we're picking up right where we left off last time, trying to figure out how to get down from this ledge. We kind of did a tour, a loop around the top end there, grabbing some glowstone, and figuring out how to get down without dying. There's lots of mobs spawning over on that area right now because I took some glowstone off so it's even worse up there. You can see my little farm down there. But I don't want to die so I'm just really kinda weighing my options here deciding I should go back and jump in the water maybe. But what I end up deciding to do is use my eight stones wisely to kind of build a staircase down to a reasonable distance so that I can jump off of it. Now as you might have known in my second episode that my recording, audio recording, didn't go very smoothly as I was hoping it would. And so this is a after the fact kind of a commentary. Basically I'm re-recording my voice and uh, since I just recorded it not too long ago it should be pretty fresh and pretty accurate. But it is a commentary after the fact, so I may bring up other things that aren't quite in the in the uh, exact time or reference to the video. So I apologize for that, but this is what happens when we learn about video editing and post-production as we work out all the kinks and bugs and work out all the ways to, you know, uh, make our production as best or as good as possible. So I remember in I think the new patch you're going to be able to climb up vines and I wasn't sure about this one. It seems that uh, I couldn't climb up the vines as you notice I might have tried to do just there a second ago but here we go we're gonna we're gonna make the jump here right away we're gonna build a little bit of a stair and I think we're just gonna go for it because I don't want to get any closer to those mobs that's fine and what am I going to do here? Spiders. That's great. I think I have, at one point I just go for it. There we go. That's not bad. Two and a half hearts. I can live with that. And there's the spider behind me falling. Or something like that. I don't know what that was. I'm going to pick up whatever remnants I have left of the glowstone I knocked around the edges and maybe the couple skeletons I knocked off seeing if I can pick up some of their bones for the bone meal. And at this point I think it's important to note that my attempt to push in both directions that one little cave and then to go up top um, I'd say the success was was somewhat limited. I mean we made the push but we didn't really make it deep and we <laughs> you know I died once doing it, so that's no fun. In any case, onwards and upwards, right? Now I think I forgot to mention that um, when I was up on that ledge that when I was looking down on the whole area that I noticed trying to you know pick up pick Vex's mind apart in terms of you know he, he builds traps, he builds secret areas, he builds kind of all these things into his maps, right? And so Knowing that, looking at the map from a, a bird's eye view, I was trying to figure out, okay, if he did put something somewhere, where would it be? You know, and so the way he placed some of the mossy cobblestone, I was a little bit suspicious. And uh, there's a little T-bar somewhere, and I was just suspicious about what that might have meant. So I think at some point, I do go digging a little bit. I check out the the spawning point, the one with the lapis and the obsidian. Basically, I I uh, am interested in the glowstone there primarily, um, but at some point I think in this video I'll be going over there and digging around it, checking it out. So where are we at? I have no pickaxe. I think at this point I'm really frustrated because I had used all of my cobblestone to build my staircases down, and I don't have enough cobblestone to build a cobblestone pickaxe. With my limited amount of wood, I do have four sticks and four wood blocks, but I don't want to use the last of my wood making a pickaxe. That's, that's, to me that's annoying. 
zombie burning over there. That's good. And so, you know, I try to eat some zombie food, zombie flesh, because I'm not really sure about how that's going to affect me, but it ends up just making me more hungry. I lose a half a bar extra, so that's not any good. So we're at the point where, okay, I just, I really have no choice. I need to make a pickaxe. I need to be able to get some more stone, cobblestone, but I'm frustrated because I really want to make a stone sword. And I really have, you know, to make a choice about, you know, the next step. Because at this point, I still have not been able to access. And here I'm testing out breaking blocks by hand and just confirming that I can't harvest cobblestone by hand. I need a pick. But at this point, I have to make a choice. I'm so limited on resources, and my pushes weren't successful. And so it's really a matter of making the right choice here so that whatever my next push is it's really dependent on my tools and being successful and if I can't you know be successful and I run out of these last kind of sets of woods or these last pieces of wooden tools I'm really nervous basically at this point that I'm gonna put myself in a really tough position to be able to successfully <laughs> just get past the, the first little parts of the game so that's no fun but onwards and upwards right so I basically I'm taking everything out of my inventory here because I want to not lose as much as possible if that's the case so I'm deciding between keeping zombie flesh to eat and food and keeping as little in my inventory as possible and oh there's a creeper I'm running away because I have no sword to deal with it and I don't want to use my pickaxe on him so let's let's skip that and uh, head back over here I think we're gonna make another attempt so we're gonna we're gonna cue the epic music. We're gonna we're gonna do this right. Grab some of these building blocks just in case and charge. Go go gadget pickaxe. Okay, 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 what's okay. Only an Enderman. Oh no, a creeper. Ah oh, jeez. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let it up, let it up. Ah, shoot, spider, skeleton, no, 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 stay, 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 stay over there, stay over there, stay over there, stay over there, stay over there. Uh, uh. Uh. That's my second time dying. Stupid, stupid mobs, I'll get my revenge on you. Okay, I need maybe just a couple more lights. And you know what, we just gotta head right back into the right back into the den of despair we just gotta go we just gotta we can't stop now I mean by stuff I mean that's the last of the anything I have no there's no wood there's no sty I mean ugh. okay here we go here we go we're gonna charge back in there maybe I'll burn a couple more building blocks okay 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 uh oh there's a zombie coming quick grab the block grab the block let's go let's go let's go let's go 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 don't look back just go forward run 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 Okay, light it up, light it up, light it up. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What's in this chest? What's in this chest? What's in a diamond? Yes. What was that? Saplings? Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. I gotta. I gotta survive. I gotta get out of here. Gotta get my stuff. Okay, block it off. Block it off. Oh. Uh oh. Zombies down there. Okay, let's block that off. Okay. Okay. Let's breathe for a sec. What do we do? Put on our armor, of course. That's the first thing we're gonna do. Let's reorganize our bar. Let's get that leather armor back on. Okay, I got a pick. No weapons, but I got a pick. Okay, let's get that lined up. Let's... Well, just gotta have to use my pick, I guess. Oh, good. He's almost dead. That was uh, a lot easier. Okay, just don't look at the Enderman. Okay, no zo What? What? An enchanting room? What? That is awesome! Oh my gosh. What is that? Potions? Hello? Oh, I don't know if that's a trap or not. Look at this stuff, saplings. Oh my god. This is it. This is what I needed. This is what I've been waiting for. And I almost died and messed myself over trying to get a cactus. I can make a cactus farm. Glass. We can build stuff. Wood planks. Oh, we can make torches. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. That's right. Got some sauce boss. I need some cobblestone though. I need to make better weapons. 
Look at this enchanting room. This is awesome. All right, let's get some cobble. Actually, first, let's check out these potions. I wonder if it's a trap. And it isn't. Okay. Fair enough. I can live with that. Actual potions. All right. All right. I don't know, have too much experience with potions yet, but I'm happy. I'm going to... I'm going to go up there. No, I'm not. I don't have a weapon yet. I'm going to block that off. Uh, what am I going to do? Uh, knockback sign. That's not going to work. Okay, let's just block this off. Let's, uh, let's reorganize. Let's get some of that cobblestone. Let's get some cobblestone because then I can make weapons and swords and stuff. Make a light this place up. Clean up our inventory a bit, maybe. Okay. The next logical step is to use some of these potions, obviously. All right. I'm going to do the regeneration and then run out there and run back to my camp. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, what? You throw it? I thought that was when you drank. Are there splash potions? Oh, treasure. I bet you I'm supposed to throw it at my legs to get the benefit of that. Oh, I'm such a noob. Oh, that drives me up the wall. Okay. Torches. We need to be able to light the place up. Check. We need, uh, we need weapons. Okay. Let's go get some cobblestone finally. Cobblestone, cobblestone. Where's some cobblestone? Yes, cobblestone. What? What is that? Die. Get away. Oh, oh no. Oh no. There's lots of them. Jump. Tower up. Tower up. Okay, I'm safe. No, no, they're climbing up here. Oh no. Stupid silverfish. They're not even biting me though. What the heck's going on? These things are just annoying. What the heck? No, nope, they're they're biting. Ow, ow. Okay, I need to I need to get someplace safe. Figure out what I'm gonna do. Ah, oh, they keep pushing me off. Get out of here. Get out of here. Leave me alone. Tower up. Tower up. Tower jump. Nice. What the heck? Look, there's two spawners. What? It must have been. <laughs> Go flying. Beep, 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 beep. Go flying. They're not not really. Killing them though, that sucks. Uh, they must have been in. I think they, from what I remember reading about them before, they exist in stone blocks. And if you kill one, then it summons others in nearby blocks and they come to attack you. Let's kill these guys though. Get rid of them. Get rid of this infestation. Okay, maybe we should destroy that block. What is that? Uh, maybe not. No, that's not. It's a spider spawner. Come to think of it, we can use that. What is this? What is this hole? I didn't see this before. Maybe some of those silverfish things came out of there. Don't look at the enderman. Light this up. Let's light this place up. I don't want to have to deal with any mobs right now. So, you know what? We can... We should build a XP farm right off of this. Yeah, right off of this uh, enchanting room. That's a great idea. Okay, back back to reality. We need to get some weapons, some tools. This wood's gonna exactly break. So let's get rid of that. Okay. What do we got going on here? What do we got going on? Uh, I need to make some tools. I don't have a ch tool bench, so I'm gonna run to my home. Well, that's not a good idea. I don't have any weapons. Let's just make a tool bench here. I think that's basically all our options are right now, so just make a tool bench here. I don't like using wood right now, but I do have saplings, so we should be okay. Finally, give me a sword. Oh, stone sword. Heaven have mercy on me. Thank you very much. I'm more than happy to take that. Okay, uh, I don't have enough for a pick. Mm. Eat our last bread, and we're just gonna make a run for it. I got a sword, we got potions, I got full health, full hunger bar. We're just gonna have to do this. Alright. Cut a chop to the face! Knuckle buster to the gut! Okay, let's go. Let's go. Creeper, creeper, deal with creeper. Okay. Oh, skeleton. Oh, 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 that was close. 
Okay, skeleton, die, die, give me bone meal. I love bone meal right now. Okay, die, die, die. That's right. Die. Die, zombie. Oh, it's dark out there. I bet you there's so many mobs. Oh, it's dark out there. We just gotta run. Run for it. Go, 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 go. Don't look back. Just go. Make it to base. We can do this. Whew. Made it. Well, better change that since I died twice. Death count two. I'm not sure how much I'll die in this series. I'm hoping it won't be that much, but I know how much I died in Legendary until I kind of caught on to X's tricks and his kind of style. And then I started to become way more cautious, especially as you get way better gear, you don't want to lose it, so. In any case, all right, finally, got some more cobblestone. It's a good thing I saved. I, I Earlier I had put in five cobblestone pieces uh, just because I had run out last time and it became an issue and I thought, well, just in case for some reason I run out, which I ended up doing without getting a new pick, I'm glad I made that decision to kind of have a couple extra cobblestone back in place here. So good for us. Good for us. That's great. Great news. Might as well collect some more cobblestone while we're at it. And essentially, and at this point, I think I saw a mob somewhere. There it is. Stupid creeper. Now that I have trees, I essentially want to redirect some energy into making a tree farm. So I'm going to kind of carefully section off some area here close to the dirt because really what I want to do here is grow some trees, get a lot more wood, use some of my bone meal to grow that uh, the trees out and from there I'll feel a lot more comfortable once we can do that. So that's what we're going to do. So as I kind of build this out and look around for creepers that might kind of pop out of anywhere I throw these down kind of build it as fast as I can nothing's coming at me okay let's just extend it to here at the very least I better get rid of this make this higher because otherwise they're just gonna jump right over and that's the worst when a creeper when you just don't build it properly and a creeper jumps over and blows you up and you just feel like a nincompoop. That's right, a nincompoop. Trees, 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 I'm so happy. It's, uh, it's such a relief. I know that it's uh, minor and stuff like that, but I really get into these games and I'm really interested in doing well in them and stuff like that. And to finally have these saplings to me means that we're going to be okay. We're going to do it. Everything's going to be fine. Just a matter of time now. We're going to make trees. We're going to have tools. We're going to have building materials. So yeah, nothing to really worry about. So I'm going to let these grow. Uh, but I'd rather grow them right away. So I, let's go find a skeleton. Let's. Oh look, there's skeletons right there. Okay, Die creeper, die, die, die. Die. Hate your face, thank you very much. This is that tea cobblestone thing I want to dig up around later. Two skeletons, they're about to die from the daylight. Come on, yes! You shot your buddy, I appreciate that. And you died, and what did you leave me? Yes, another bone. Two bones, great, great news. More skeletons, alright. I'll take ya. Come on. Come on, get out of the water. You need to die. I'm gonna dodge. Duck. Dodge block parry. Dodge block parry. Okay. This is not safe. I could just jump over that one too. I just realized that. Bone meal. Nine. Oh yeah. We're going to get some wood. Yes, we are going <laughs> to get some wood. I just realized how a lot of you will take that. Onwards and upwards though, right? <laughs> oh boy. That could be taken out of context too. Onwards and upwards. Okay. So we're, we're working on our tree farm. Gonna get some materials, 
and uh, let's kind of maybe build this more properly so that we don't have any issues with creepers or mobs peeking their heads in here because I hear them kind of splashing around me all the time in the water and stuff like that so okay we might as well build an axe because we just need one and so let's do that some sticks here get an axe going what a relief what a relief I tell you I'm just feeling really peaceful about all this right now this is good this is good thank you thank you wood oh man oh yeah this is great look at all this wood I want saplings because I don't want to run out just in case I don't think I will but I'm a little bit cautious right now because of all the struggles we've had so far and how limited our resources have been so far that we just need to we just need to be safe rather safe than sorry right now you know so I'll I will take out every leaf if I have to to get as many saplings as possible at this point so that's what we're gonna do that's what we're gonna do until until we have a home that's established and it's safe from mobs and it's automated or whatever I will be careful and finding that area <laughs> the fact that there were saplings so huge so huge so that was that's a big success we can notch one up on our belt there that's a huge success breaking into that room I mean we got diamond armor for one thing a chest piece which is huge I can't wait to enchant that that's probably the first thing I'll enchant with something awesome when we build that uh, XP farm or grinder whatever and the fact that we have trees now and even ladders and stuff like that like I'm I haven't any intention or idea where I'm going to use those things yet, but right on. Right on. Donkey Kong. Yes. Four pickaxes. Yes. Three swords. Yes. Yes. I don't have to worry. We can go out. We can harvest. We can explore. We can just... I got these potions and stuff, so you know what? We're good now. I am less fearful about dying. But while we're here and we have this bone meal, we should probably just harvest as much as we can, put it in the box just in case something terrible happens. Finally we can put a door on our house. You know, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. A little bit of a semblance of a normal Minecraft life, whatever that means. Kind of getting our stuff together, our our life in order. Better build that to be shut properly. And we'll fix these. Block off this area so no creepers jump over. That should be good enough for now. I haven't really put in any effort into making this house look good or anything. It's really ragtag. What? Why aren't you growing? Okay, try again. Oh, great. I use the rest of my bone meal. Whatever. Stupid thing. Maybe it's too close to the glass. I'm not sure. In any case, I don't. I'm not going to probably build a proper base or area until a little bit later like right now I'm still I feel like we're just getting our feet underneath us and uh, to spend a bunch of time uh oh uh oh uh oh escape 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 close door let me see let me chop you from underneath here that's right die good thing I left this kind of underneath open it's like an attack bay safety attack zone or something he's just gonna die good Let's, let's like look at that having a door having the glass there so helpful oh my gosh so yes we're not going to be building a base or updating our base until I do a little bit more exploring and figure out because I don't even know where the first intersection is how long it'll take to get to the victor victory monument I don't know anything at this point all I know is that I have some supplies finally I don't know what direction the first area is going to take us. There's still two areas to go. You know, we have up there with uh, where I saw the Enderman eyes in episode 2. There's a obviously a something up there and some mobs up there. So I don't know what's up there. But at the same time, like, I didn't see anything up there to begin with because the stupid uh, the stupid 
like there's that area and it's just dark and there's like there's no area except where the mobs were and so that's confusing me. I don't know what to do about all that. Anyways, I've only got one piece of bread left so as you can see what I did here is basically decided to uh, extend my farm a little bit, plant some more trees. I decided to um, not spend the five or ten minutes I was going to do kind of doing that, uh, recording it. I wanted to keep keep the recording action kind of relevant, so I ran around and I placed a bunch of dirt blocks everywhere and just planted trees so that they'll grow. And here I'm just going to check it out. Uh, I'm going to see what is going on in the area. I got lots of torches, so I'm probably going to start lighting it up at some point. But basically I want more bone meal right now so I can grow some wheat. And so I'm going to see if I can lure this guy out. All right, thank you. Follow me. Let me hide behind this door. Get nice and close and I can hit you. Thank you, skeleton. Why are you jumping up there? Like, come on, give me a break. That sucks. What? Come on, man. You've got to be kidding me. That's it. You're dead. Oh, my sword's broken. But, no worries. Got three more. So I got a bone. That's good. Any more skeletons? Any more skeletons? No, I don't think so. So we're getting to the end of our episode here. I want to thank you for tuning in. Appreciate uh, the time you take to watch these videos. I hope they're entertaining. I'd love to hear back from you. I'd love to hear feedback. Thanks again. Happy Minecrafting. We'll see you in episode four. And enjoy your day.